Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the 2.50 patch notes, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get it. Okay, so uh, first, Almighty Push got a much needed nerf. Uh, the cooldown got increased, it's, a, it's got a 17 second cooldown now, and they reduced the duration that you're unable to use substitute. Uh, effect so you'll be able to sub faster after getting hit by it i'm glad that they didn't mess with the range or anything like i, I don't i don't want them to put it back to how it was before i think it just needed a longer cooldown time and that was like the biggest thing so i think they did a good job uh with this one scientific ninja tour reverse scale oh yeah that's right i forgot uh kobe i forgot that they changed the name of it yeah so that is actually what it is called okay now i see what's going on i see okay so let's see what they did uh change the invincibility effect to super armor that's what it should have always been uh, because it's so crazy that thing like going over going through like stuff like the uh the confusion tag what are those called i forget what they're even called i haven't played in so long but like that that's the craziest stuff but let's see decrease the effect uh effect duration of enemy downtime change enemy substitution stock reset on hit effect to unable to use substitution that's better okay and then decrease See, that's what I'm talking about. Attack types just, they can't just get a nerf. This is a rebalance because they made the, they gave it a lower cooldown time. Wow, one of the best moves in the game and they just rebalance it instead of nerfing it. Uh, okay, Uchi, I saw Halo Dance. Improve the ability to chain hits of the of this ninjutsu even under poor internet con condition connect or connection conditions. Okay, that's crazy and they decrease the cooldown time okay that's cool because uh halo dance like good people can use it well but it's not like it wasn't one of the best moves so that's what's up uh kamoi yo reduce secret technique gauge needed for accuracy decrease secret technique time until the attack okay so it comes out faster and you don't need as much to charge it much needed for combo yeah i'm glad because combo is so cool in the show man that's one of my favorite moves in the show and uh yeah but I, I never really use it in, in in this game that might make me want to play attack actually to be honest uh, but okay let's see lightning style lariat increase lunge speed but reduce lunge duration hmm, so that, does that mean it's going to go shorter oh no no wait a bear on tail breaker decrease de decrease cooldown time Ooh, that's crazy uh cross lantern decrease cooldown time but i, I think those were like 20 something so i, I can see that uh, Sage of Six Pass, Divine Blade, uh, the Nunoboko, uh, added enemy substitution stock reset on hit effect, <laughs> added unable to substitute effect on hit on effect, and then increased secret technique shockwave range. Dang. Okay. So yeah, nobody was really using that, so I can see that. Jidori, some uh, big boss said that that's only ten seconds now, so it's about time. That should have been a. They should have either made it do something, or they they should have been uh, lowered the cooldown. So that's what's up. Uh, Super B Scroll Lion, decrease cooldown time. Okay, Icicle Swallow, decrease time required to cancel the ninjutsu. All right. An angelic advent, increase cooldown time. That's so funny that they gave defense a way to do the angelic advent thing with the ninja tools, and then they then then they nerfed angelic advent. That's crazy. Okay, so this is the big thing that they were talking about in the developer le letter. Uh, so Kamui Climax added ninja tool stock recovery effect and then increase the cooldown time oh okay so it does more but okay that's good though because people people used to abuse agent or angelic admin so they were going to do the same thing with Kamoi climax so, so that's actually good that they did that celestial air slice increased speed bonus after the con uh, kunai hits okay uh flying right and guiding thunder oh that's the one that they decreased the cooldown time okay that's cool uh it's gonna be i mean i get yeah that's cool all right, so let's see. Water style, super shark bomb jutsu, increased projectile speed, and added homing capabilities to the super shark bomb jutsu. What in the world? Oh my goodness. All right, uh, DJ's about to be happy. Okay, so heal types, cherry blossom clash, increased jump distance, increased tracking ability, increased tracking ability when used against an enemy that is directly below. So these are all the same for all three of these moves. I don't understand this like what they're doing with healers like do they just want everybody to play combat healer is that the only thing that healers are for now i, I never use any one of these moves uh i guess if you want to play combat healer i guess increase uh, projectile speed for your increase projectile speed 
Increased tracking ability and change the motion that enemies take when hit as Susano appears. I wonder what that's going to do. And they, okay, hold up. 100 healings. Increase, oh, this is the secret technique. Increase secret technique, ninjutsu, additional command, cherry blossom, hurricane, tracking ability. Okay, so they did the same thing as uh, all the other ground pound moves. This is a, uh, uh, this is a, uh, this is so weak. <laughs> This is so weak, man, why they did healers. Increase health recovery and decrease cooldown time. That's the only buff to green rain ground hold, so you still can't do it in the air. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, super light and boulder. Decrease ninjutsu cooldown time reduction effect. Decrease substitution jutsu cooldown time reduction effect. Oh, I didn't even realize that it gave you your sub back faster. Dog, for real, man, they keep nerfing cellular extraction. Like, just make the other stuff better. Well, like, I don't know what they want the game to be like. Like, actually, I do know because in and when you play when you play Hero Festival, healers can barely do anything, and that's why the that's why the sweats run two healers because the game is you're not really supposed to be able to heal that well. That's what the devs had in mind. They didn't have in mind like healers running three different heals and stuff. So yeah, they're trying to make it like that. I'm about to just stop playing healer. I'm about to just go into matches, <laughs> just doing whatever because they are playing healers, man. They're really trying to make it so that there's just no point in playing healer. Like, could be because this this. So what? The ground pounds are better. Like you're still not gonna do as much damage as an attack type or a range type or a defense type. So like. Why would they try to mess up the healer's healing capabilities, which is the only reason anybody would use it? That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not excited about that at all, but we're going to be playing defense for right now anyway, so it doesn't matter. Rebalance ninjutsu or ninja tools and other balance changes. So defense type, super tough medicine, decreased ninjutsu cooldown time reduction effect and added attack power increase. Okay. Uh, healing seal to decrease health recovery. Uh. But, but the uh, explosive clone decreased range of explosion after the substitution jutsu is activated that's great because that thing was crazy so this is this is crucial though land canceling so decrease the time before you can cancel the landing animation by attacking or guarding so i guess this isn't just making everybody have advanced movement but it's making it easier or faster to to cancel when you get on the ground I don't know. A healer's group heal is the only thing attack types didn't have, so they had to nerf it. <laughs> for real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> that's that's true. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a fact. Oh my goodness. Uh okay, and then 5.1 or 2.51, they fixed several bugs, so maybe like new stuff messing up. L healers, they really they played healers, man. They played us. Uh that's crazy. But Dang, like, because if they would have given Green Rain Groundhold and Palm Sage, like, some decent buffs, at least let us use Green Rain Groundhold in the air. Like, it, it's a move where she throws it in the air, so <laughs> why can't we use it in the air? Like, yeah, it needs armor, and you should be able to throw it in the air. At least, well, it wouldn't even need armor if you could just throw it in the air. Oh, man. I do feel like they're making a big effort, though, to make more stuff viable and that's good i'm glad to see it i don't want them to to destroy the healer class but i'm glad that they're trying to make people use stuff besides cellular extraction but like before they had, in the other developers letter they were like they, they they explicitly said like we don't want to just we want to make uh, more things viable but we don't want to to do that by making other things worse we want to make the other moves better so that they can compete with it. And now, it put, but they did the exact opposite for healers. They do that with attack types all the time. They're like, they're like, hey, uh, let's make all these moves just as good as all the best attack moves. <laughs> but with healers, they can't. They're not gonna make everything just as good as cellular extraction. But uh, but to be honest though, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but when the game first came out, Sailor Extraction had like a 12 second cooldown, which was ridiculous. It was always like, it was always, and it could always heal debuffs, uh, it, 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 but it only had like a 12 second cooldown. Uh, so I understand like them needing to, needing to nerf it, 
and in some ways it's good because I, like i've always said in any video that a cellular extraction is essential if you're playing if you're playing a support healer and you, if, and you don't have cellular extraction on then you're doing something wrong so it, it might be good to to have to have it to where that's not the case anymore but i don't know man we'll just we'll just have to see i think they should maybe uh if they're if they're gonna make us worse at healing at least make healers be able to survive better like give us better defense or something or, or better uh hp or something like healers need more actual healing moves yeah and like th they need we need more different ways to heal like this is what i've been saying is that we need to they need to use the d-pad more and let us use the d-pad as a way to like switch between targeting enemies and targeting allies and then we could have like some kind of targeted healing moves where you only heal one person and you can like switch between your teammates to see who you want to heal instead of just nerfing uh cellular extraction to the ground just make other ways to heal so that so that uh yeah like you can have like a, a maybe like a big burst healing to just one person but it gives them like almost all their health back or something like that like there's all kinds of different ways but all the healings are all just like aoe heals and they're already kind of overpowered just because they're aoe but in this game that's so fast it's kind of like it's kind of hard to not do it like that yeah these patch notes are big yikes even even that yeah they did the heal that's what the that's the main thing i could live with cellular extraction nerf but the heal tag oh my goodness it's okay holy you're not a healer made anyway <laughs> i'm a rage type <laughs>